to Warwick, where the medieval meets the modern. Pilot. We were lucky enough to um, come second in the Telegraph magazine's best small shops in Britain. So we were just voted for by our customers. Um, went down to a, an award ceremony in London, um, which Mary Porter's hosted, um, and she was basically really impressed by the support that we had from the local community. But really based around Twitter and our usage of Twitter, as the photo shows, we we had the chance to to talk to her for about 40 minutes. Um, and during which time she said that had we considered putting Warwick forward as one of the, the Porter's Pilot towns. The blog was set up um, by Todd from Warwick Tweetup. And within the space of probably two days, I think we'd had about 4,000 hits. It's incredible the response that we've had from it. On from that, it's just escalated that we, we actually put together a town team of people from residents, businesses, We've got people from the local, district and county council and representation from Warwick Castle and from the race course. So it's a really good mixed group. What do you love about Warwick? Well, I've lived here for 20 years and I really enjoy the history of Warwick. Warwick is, it's retained its independent identity. It's not all high street shops, it's lots of independent little unusual shops so there is something for everybody. I love the fact it's all independence and everybody's so passionate about Warwick. What would you change about Warwick? I think they could exploit the tourism aspect of Warwick a lot more. I think there's a lot of history here that should and could be used. Yes, I'd love for Warwick to become a market town again as it actually is known as a market town and bring the antique markets back and also the craft fairs and bring an awful lot more people to Warwick where they should be. Hashtag Warwick Portas Pilots! <laughs>